Hello and welcome back to Panzerkorps Grand Campaign 40 and Manstein difficulty. I'm very much looking forward to the continuation of this campaign. So let's immediately switch into even a mail and let's see what we can do here. I've already prepared a deployment here. Um, not much yeah actually there's a lot of change i upgraded my tank force so now we have two panzer fours and one panzer three together with the se panzer we have a balanced force of three and fours other than that i think pretty much Everything is unchanged. I put some overstrengths into my units just because we are still superior here. So the unit quality is still superior for the Germans at this point of time. So giving my units overstrengths kind of is the tipping point so that we can destroy the Manstein units without taking too much damage in return. A 10 strength Panzer IV is not ideal and 11 strength really makes a difference for some reason we'll see let's find out how this is going to work taking a look at the strategic situation i decided i will go for a center push so we'll indeed assault even a mill very aggressively try to eliminate everything in the center very quickly and then spread out Maybe do some Falsche Mega action in the back and on Ebene Mail itself. But other than that, we will be extremely focused on the center. So, without further ado, let's see what we can do here. And the key point really is going in recklessly like the Germans did and just hope and pray everything goes right. And of course, at the beginning, the most important thing is keep them out of ammo, so we'll do our best to make that happen. So, let's see more information. We will need some scouting information around here. I want all the deer to attack here anyway, so we'll move him up just to get more complete information. And then we will Throw in everything to attack even a mill. The center one is the most dangerous one. So let's go for it. Miserable roll, only one suppression. That is going to be very costly for my pioneers. Five suppression. Still not great, but I think I can work with that. Yeah, at least they did survive. Sometimes, I did a few test runs here, sometimes you get completely obliterated <laughs> by this thing. Nothing you can do about that, because there's only so much artillery you can bring forward. Then, what we want to do next. Getting rid of the resistance points in my back. I already prepared artillery to do it, and this time we absolutely do want him to retreat. This way the city is now open, I can move up with the tank and throw him out of here. Thinking about this one, I think we will do it just the other way around. Only suppress him and try to keep him in the city. so that we can clear up the field here and then we'll deny them the mission. So standard procedure for the beginning and then let's think we need to prioritize targets here. The bridge is now kind of open so getting rid of this strong point is essential in the beginning because it's 
absolutely blocking my way. So we'll deploy Helmut land hit. Decent hit. We'll follow up with the scout. Not so good hit. But now we can advance a little bit and block them off a little bit more. So this infantry we absolutely don't want to get any ammo back. So advancing our tanks and we have to think. So the most important thing is to clear out the center line but also I want to clear out the southern line here just to be able to control their vision more. You have to, I think you have to decide, you keep the northern ones alive or the southern ones. But I think we'll try to destroy them in the south. So we'll try to annoy them as much as possible. No luck here, and I don't care if he gets back his ammo, I can't prevent it anyways. So that's not critical, he's still out of ammo so we don't need any artillery protection. Then we'll aggressively move forward, taking this opportunity with a Belgian unit still uh, out of ammo and completely surprised. <laughs> so <laughs> we'll make the most out of that situation. And the scout can be very helpful later on. So we will put everything into the fray in the center. Yeah, and the question will be, can we break through here? It all depends on our roles. Let's see. Center one cleared. That's already an important thing. Good roll here. Perfect. Now the way is clear and that makes things a lot easier. We can push already to the center. And <laughs> do almost no damage. That's always great to see. But still... I think I want you gone. Not sure how to proceed here. Maybe we get lucky. Nope. Somehow I want to get rid of it right now, but I want this gun in the center. as well just to be able to protect my units from ear strikes i will have to think about that one option if in doubt use the artillery now i have to protect myself already starting to work on the northern fortification And I want to do as much damage as possible here.
preparing to bombard this thing next turn. Same down here. At least the level bombers are putting some work in. But that's not helpful in itself. Now my next priority is this infantry unit. So we'll try to dig it out a little bit so that we are able to do more damage to it. Then we'll peek, get more information, see that the enemy units are still not prepared. Yeah, I'm digging them out more doesn't help, so we'll leave that be. Bring forward more units. Yeah, actually, not so sure about that. The risk is always getting completely blocked. So, yeah, I will have to think about it. The plan is to have units ready. Then it, that can attack here. Maybe with a lucky shot, we can do more damage. Nope. I don't want to expose myself here because there could be a unit that moves up. We are completely in vision range, so no fancy business. Yeah, the Fashimega is fine here. We can reach any location we desire, so let's bring forward artillery. And let's build fighter traps now. Let's see. This is in vision range. So we'll try to attract possible enemy fighters here. Fashion Megas I always use as fighter traps. Good hit. That certainly helps a lot. We'll try to guard. The units around here, those are the most vulnerable ones. We'll keep the Fallschirm Megas in a position where they are defended. Those are non-core units, I don't care. The others are in trenches, so not that in danger. This is pretty much down. But I want to prevent it from regaining its health. We are protected here, that's fine. Move up. Hi, Lieutenant Joker, no problem. You did not miss much. We are trying to destroy the center here. We are only on turn two. Progress is good, I think. I'm a little bit worried about those two. I really want to get them, get rid of them on turn three. But those in the north, I'm not that worried. Let's see. Let's double check. Mistakes. Early on, a double costly. Yeah. Quite unlucky defense, but those units can for sure give us some trouble. So now let's think how do we get rid of all of them? 
Not this one, I don't have to destroy him right away. But the obvious target is right here. With all the deer, we can use this opportunity. The AI is very unlikely to attack all the deer. And he will get a nice entrenchment bonus here. So that's already good. We'll bolster our situation to the front, offering them a non-core unit they will most likely go for. Yeah, that's extremely tricky. Let's see. Um, there's a bomber attack imminent, so we'll have to make sure we are considering everything here. So with a little bit of luck, this one is gone. Nope. But I don't think I care too much. Let's see, how much damage can we do? That's actually worth it, let's go for it. Now you are not the big threat anymore. <clears throat> let's move up. form a protective line in the center where we are absolutely deterring any bombers from attacking here. This frees up the rest of my units to do something in the south. Then we'll try to protect units by keeping planes over them. Not what I like to see. So this is protected. No. No dice. So I think the tank is more likely to do the job. Let's withdraw here. This will take some time. Is it worth the risk? Yeah, it paid off. Now we can advance our tank to the front. 
and really provide massive firepower to the front. Here we are kind of protected. We still have to get rid of this fighter. Don't think we will be lucky enough. Let's see. Nope. Didn't work out. But now let's think about defenses. This one, we can position here. That's a bomber target. I don't care about. This is a location I definitely want to provide cover. Protect another unit. This is a potential trap because they can not see my fighter, I hope. Nope. They shouldn't be able to see it. More trap locations. So everything around here is in cover, this is in cover, this is the only one to see, this is a potential trap, so we'll try to move forward and don't give them any targets whatsoever. Whew, hope that works out. Yeah, that's fine, we don't want him to regain anything. Yeah, that's good, let's end the turn. Good. Okay. That was not so smart. But it's not so bad either. It was costly, but now this one is doomed because I can push it onto the river. But I didn't think about units going that far to the front. At least now we can conveniently shoot down those bombers. That's good. We can push one more unit on the river and destroy them on the river. So I absolutely like that. Let's see. How do we want to do this? I think one of the bombers I simply want to damage. Oops, nope. Make sure we can get rid of the fortification. Now. Vision control is established. We'll make room. Now those fighters are up. These bombers are blinded. We can absolutely use this to our advantage. But not now. Let's see. Yeah, that's not so great. Maybe if we take this airfield. But... First things first, let's try to push him onto the river. Kill him off. 
That's one thing accomplished. Maybe baiting them into an unwise attack. I have to remember to stay out of range here. <laughs> that can go terribly wrong. Good. Not good either. But here we should be able to destroy him with an airstrike. But let's see what we are facing here. Airfield is empty, so we will risk the non-core scout. Now let's see if we have enough fuel. That's better. Wow. At least it is destroyed. That's good. Positioning yourself on the bridge, not very smart, good sir, and... Then I think we can try to trap them here. We need one unit to block the retreat path, because now that's the most likely direction it will go. If it retreats in this direction, well, not much we can do about it. I'll send all the deer. Try to weaken them. Other than that, there's not much useful things we can do. This defense. is not in the best condition. I'm not even sure if it's worth it. Maybe the better option is to simply block them. trying to set myself up behind to speed up things once I'm fully deployed and ready for action. So, other than that, let's get going. Drop off units to the back so we can quickly finish the situation in the north. That's fine, that works as a bait. The artillery, yeah, that's not ideal. You have to be hyper-concentrated here. So him going down, getting stopped, that's good. Him going up, we will simply have to shoot it down once again. That's potential trap territory. I think we are good.
that worked. Yeah, the scout, well, <laughs> it kind of did its job. But now we are better prepared to deal with them. Let's see. First priority is getting rid of the artillery in the north. But for now, we'll prepare ourselves to be ready to deal with them. Movement on the flock. That could be extremely good. I hope it works in both um, in both modes actually. So let's see. We definitely have to refuel. But it might be possible to push this unit. Away. Let's see. That's done. That's done. Movement on the tank, absolutely great. Then we'll box them in. Yeah, simply move up. We're kind of in protection here. Hi, William. And yeah, don't want to be in range of that unit. So we'll drop off to the south. Just keep him boxed in. He can't do much harm this way. Want to, want to, no, they will get completely blocked. The Panzer is providing enough protection. The scout should be absolutely safe. Then grab supplies. We can block them once more. Rinse and repeat. Not great. That should be good enough. So we are still out of vision range. And we'll need more artillery to the south. That's a given. I want to be extra safe, double protection. We st still need the flak. Wow, but the flak is absolutely phenomenal. Don't want to trigger them here. So we'll protect ourselves in case there's something in the back. And I think with that, we're good to go. Looks safe enough. Like I said, I will try to overwhelm them here then leave a token force supported by the air force to take out Maastricht and then we'll push towards the south with everything we have that's great actually them attacking is great as well makes my job so much easier and this unit here is toast. We will push it onto the river and then make short work of it. 
plan hunt down. So threat in the air is finally eliminated. We have our fighters back. Now let's see what's the most damage we can do to them. Definitely getting rid of that unit is kind of a priority. Yeah, using the tank on it is almost a waste. Yeah. There's one more unit to the north. Uh, I'm aware of that. But I will provide mass attack bonus here. Almost sniped it. Almost is not good enough. Now that will work. This is a perfect trap opportunity. Not sure if there's anti-aircraft fire. So we'll not risk it. Nope. Everything's fine. We'll resupply. Not enough. That's not worth it. Our artillery is safe. We can't get attacked, but maybe this will lure them out. And then we can already divert some of our energy to the south. Hopefully making something happen. Way we should be able to completely destroy it once it's out of here. Staying out of range. And they absolutely like to go for weakened units and for the Panzer 3. So maybe we can bait them in here. Having only one ammunition left is not ideal, but I think the tank can hold out. Luring them out of the position he positions here is actually pretty important because they are quite entrenched. So without further ado, that's safe.
no need to move they can't go through that's fine they can't reinforce let's end the turn scout on the hill that's target they can't resist and too bad they didn't want to attack into me but that's fine enough we can push them onto the river again well <laughs> in in theory so Maybe like that. Yeah, that's not ideal. We'll get attacked here. I can't protect myself, but on the other hand, this again is a potential trap. I hope they're going to fall for it. And those two units just will have to make do. We are a little bit overextended. But it still should work out. Done. This doesn't help much. So I think it's more important. Yeah, let's keep it. Maybe we have to snipe this unit. No, I don't think it's necessary. And we can already move the Panzer into the fray. Get a little bit more experience. turn we can even think about surrounding them that might be an option actually and I will already move one unit onto the airfield so I can move it south so this is the most likely target if they want to attack don't care about that he is position Fine, maybe that's even a trap. The scout is out of it. No use to risk attacking because it won't speed up. Our main issue is pushing through this massive wall of infantry to the south. So we'll need resupplying for our Air Force. Perfect. That's not much, but it's something. It's positioned rather unconveniently, but we'll deal with it. Let's see. Get 
some information, start to dig them out. That's the usual process. And... That's almost completely suppressed. I think we can make it happen. Four, that's barely enough. Let's not risk it. That has the additional benefit of allowing us to already move south, move the next Falsche Mega onto the airfield. Then we can rail transport something down, but... Now we want information on Maastricht. That's looking not too well defended. All the year can help out in the south. We'll block the bridge. And that should collapse the resistance. Let's see. I think we'll keep scouts here. Scout movement should be very helpful. So we'll move one of our scouts to the south just to provide vision. We'll wait here until the artillery is ready. And then the question is how do we kill you without getting into range of something. Maybe we can't kill it in time. Let's see. Maybe we are simply very lucky persons. Yes, we are. That's another unit eliminated. And now the resistance is much weaker. And we should pick up speed now. This is the only speed bump left. I'm sure there's more down here, but immediately, immediate blocking factors are removed. Let's put it like that. Yeah, good, good, maybe even trapping him, perfect. That makes our job a lot easier, able to push him onto the river again. But we will think about that later now. Grab supplies. Move towards the south. And start to bomb them for good. Hit. I like to see that. Going in now is maybe a useless risk. Don't think they will resupply this early. Famous last words.
or we simply block them for good. There's a non-core unit, so let's risk it. They won't be able to do too much to us, so... I think that's fine. All of the year, perfect positioning. Let's see. Suppression level is not good enough. That's more like it. Another roadblock gone. And we'll offer them more opportunities to attack into us. In the meantime, we can try to sneak something into the corner. Oh, there's nothing here. We can make a quick approach. Make our scout ready. That looks safe. Let's end the turn. And there's more infantry moving up. That's good. Provide to prevent him from regaining its ammo. And if he wants to attack, well, that's fine as well. But now they are blocked for good. Don't think we need the Falsch Omegas actually. So let's take a look down in the south. Yeah, anti-tank cannons. Ooh, it is great. That looks safe enough. should allow us to box it in so it can't regain its strengths. Block them from advancing here. Wow, this anti-tank cannon is so good. Yeah. 
doesn't matter anymore. Attacking here is not worth it. It will just push them back. Well, actually it is because my 88 is in danger. Well, stay as is for now. I don't want to, by mistake, get blown over by the wind and get completely pounded. That would be a little bit unfun. And I think we have enough time, five turns, to destroy them to the south. So that's it. Let's end the turn. should allow us to get ready for the final attack. I'll start bombarding him. Not much else, else we can do. So let's take a look in the south. That's good information. There will be artillery somewhere. But nothing we need to worry about right now. We simply need to stay out of range. That should be the rest of their mobile forces. So Yeah. I think we'll go in right now. Now it's safe to drop the Falsch Amigas. We'll make sure they can't buy reinforcements. sure this one is not able to do any shenanigans yeah that looks good 
all planes are safely at base. That's good. Let's enter turn. And, well. Let's see. Yeah, and William is saying he started doing target practice with the green 88 on those fours. Yeah, that's that's an option. Could have done that actually, but... I didn't expect it to be that easy, honestly. This worked out a lot better than anticipated. Drain its ammo. Don't want it to move. Yeah, that's fine. We'll keep everything as is. Doing target practice actually is a good idea. So, in the south, let's see. Getting rid of him is a little bit tricky, actually. But we should be able to force a surrender. We have the time to do it. We'll keep everything protected. Keep the scout ready to force another surrender. Then we can think about attacking those fortresses. But for now, I'd rather keep my track column ready. So, that's fine. Everything under control. Yeah, and Lieutenant Chuka, I'm using your tricks here. That's why I'm so quick. Not Using the Air Force in the North actually works great. So, that is helpful. So you really can concentrate the artillery to the south. I still brought one piece just to be extra safe. So we have two turns to go, not much to do. Let's see what we still can destroy. go here so we are completely safe then it's time for target practice that's done we'll Wait until we have more ammo. Completely suppress it. 12 out of 12, that's good enough. Is this a job for the scout? Nah. My elite Fallstürmjägers need something to do as well. And now about him. We can 
for surrenders as well but maybe we can do get in some practice shots here don't think he will go out he's entrenched at level six so we actually need more firepower Yeah, nothing ready to move. So maybe we won't get the surrender here, but doesn't matter too much. We'll keep everything as is. Maybe we'll not do target practice here after all. Doesn't matter. Let's end the turn. Let's make sure to finish this one. Grab supplies. We have one more turn to do something. So let's make sure we use this opportunity. Doesn't help attacking, so we won't do it in the south so yeah we have one more turn left so I think we still can force to surrender force a surrender on him. Doing target practice here is actually not worth it. An attack here is ridiculous. Those fortresses are entrenched now. So that won't do us any good. We'll just stay as is, make sure we can't get attacked. I think that's fine. We have one more turn. Yeah, let's do it. Oh wow, now that's not good. Counter attack. But I think we can block him. <laughs> oh my god. That was unexpected. Yeah, he will get blocked and I don't think anything else is in range. So good enough and maybe he wants to reinforce anyways. But that could have ended in disaster rather quickly. Now let's make sure to force a surrender. Unnecessary ah, defense on the artillery, but we had so much luck on the rolls. It really doesn't matter. Completely suppressed. Farshi Megas do the job. Make sure nothing bad happens. They are boxed in. That's good. All planes are safe. Let's enter turn and let's hope we're not getting sniped here somewhere. There's a lot, move, lot of movement, it seems. That's it. <laughs> Perfect ending. Wow, they actually bought a lot of units here. So it's a good idea to grab those locations after all. But other than that, it worked out perfectly. Not 
a lot of damage taken, kept a lot of ooh strengths, some rather annoying hits we took. This artillery is a little bit costly. The tanks are fine. I lost the 12th overstrength point on my fighter. That's not good at all. But other than that, that, that's extremely costly and very unlikely. He even has an initiative hero and took damage against a damaged bomber, I think. So that's unfortunate, but we, we, we had good rules here. Yeah, other than that, let's check on the infantry. The Fallschirm Jägers couldn't... Or could they? Yeah, one of them even kept the Oath ranks. Uledir kept the Oath ranks, perfect. The Pioneers, fine. I'll take it. So, thanks for watching and next time it's Albert Canal and this one will be a lot tougher, I think. And yeah, have a nice evening. Ah, oh, by the way, in about an hour, Lieutenant Joker and I are going to do the Death Diary number two. So if you are interested, yeah, stay around. Won't take long. I just have to, um, I have to prepare everything and set everything up at 18.100 so it's in 45 minutes we will start the stream. Other than that, thanks for watching it has been fun as always and Lieutenant Chuka says and that dear friends is why you never leave your flank open and why your Darian was a moron for not wanting to take out Kiev. Yeah that's totally true so having this Dutch force in your back absolutely would be a problem, kind of. <laughs> so, yeah, honestly, they wouldn't be able to raise that big an army in, in those villages, but still, still, it could happen. And yeah, don't leave your flank open, otherwise, you will get sniped in the last second. We got really lucky here. So, see ya. Bye.